let us not lose sight of what the cold hard facts are. This was not someone uh, who I vacationed with and who he and I enjoyed this great intimate relationship of brotherhood. This is someone who destroyed my life. Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. And I can get on that list, yes, right? Yes, without a doubt, you are invited. Right. the end of the hall. He absolutely is. And that video shows a microcosm of what the whole relationship with Cassie was. It's here's an object. I'm in control of it. I'm going to do what I want with it when I want. And that's what he did. And, you know, Diddy, I'm so sick of him. I really am. And all of the playbooks that these people have, whether we're talking about Nasser or Cosby or Epstein or Weinstein, they're all on a sliding scale with all of the other rapists and pedophiles and traffickers who serve no use in our society. Silence since his conviction and deportation for his role in the 1999 Club New York shooting. Now a leader in the Belize House of Representatives, Barrow maintains his innocence in the crime, claiming he defended Diddy in the aftermath only for the bad boys founder to turn around and call witnesses to testify against me. Barrow says Sean Combs basically sent him to prison and called Combs someone who ruined my life. Barrow, just 18 at the time, was sentenced to 10 years for assault. Barrow served nine years before he was deported back to his native Belize. Now, this guy that we just heard about, uh, former rapper Jamel Barrow, who is now leading an up and up life out of the country. Okay, mm -hmm. He was part of the 99 New York Club shooting and he went down for it nine years behind bars. Now, he's a leader in the Belize House of Representatives for Pete's sake. But with Diddy behind bars, more is gonna come out about that 99 shooting where a woman was actually shot. She lived, but she was shot. It implicated Jennifer Lopez. So when we were talking about Diddy behind bars, what, how does that affect potential witnesses and victims that were afraid to come forward before? can explain that to me. No one has ever been able to explain that to me. My mother had to get me transferred to St. Vincent. And as soon as I got to trans to St. Vincent, they had already had uh, all of my stuff sent over and they were rushing me into surgery. The doctor was taken. I was like puffy. He kept saying, can you tell us what happened? What's, you know, when they ask you those questions, which I found out later to be neurological questioning to make sure that you are you're aware and that you have some level of reasoning. And he's like, what's your name? How old are you? Can you tell me what happened? And I said, Puffy shot me in my face. This man testified, I testified in the criminal trial. This man testified in the criminal trial. People are like, why didn't she speak up then? Why is she saying something now? She won't clout. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? And there's a thing called Google. It's a search engine. Type things in and look before you just wantonly, with flagrant disregard, comment stupid comments. I had one lady say, well, why she ain't make posts about it back then? Why she ain't put it on her social media back then? Hello, dumb dumb. I got shot 24 years ago. There was no social media. No social media existed in 1999. I was viral before there was a social media. That's why I've always had a love-hate relationship with social media. Because I was viral when no social media, I probably was one of the first viral cases. There was no social media. I have, I have to feel these type of questions every day. My kids be like, Ma, stay off of social media. Don't listen to those people. Don't respond to them. Don't answer. I don't want you to go through this. Like everybody got a chip in their shoulder. People are livid. I had one lady say, well, my son got shot by somebody and he died. So why should she get any money? What? What? First and foremost, rest in peace to your son. Second of all, you a straight hater from the pits of hell. Third of all, the United States created their remedy by which you get legal recourse. Either if somebody commits a crime against you, that's why when something happens, it'll say the state against whoever hurt you. Because the government is taking over control and saying, we are pleading your case and filing a case the state is going against this person who perpetrated the crime. And the second recourse is civil. Civil means a money judgment. I've heard people say the same thing with Cassie. Oh, she just want money. Why is she taking the money? Hello? 
There are two legal remedies by which you get recourse in this world, civil or criminal. Go talk to the United States senator of your district if you got a problem with that. But don't come holler at me. I need to be made whole. I was a business owner. I owned two beauty salons. I was living my life. If I don't stand behind a chair, how do I eat?